All right, welcome back to another video from MBMRC. This is Brian. Before we get too far into today's video, I'm going to go ahead and remind you guys to go ahead and like the video. Uh, you can wait till the end if you wish. But uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, we really appreciate that. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps us out immensely. So go ahead, like, and subscribe, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thanks a lot. Have you ever made in a plane with skis before? Nope. <laughs> There's already enough stuff that can go wrong. I'll fly it on the low rates first and see what it does. That's the problem. The skis are too tight. It's not letting the... How is it? I get it up here and back the throttle off. I need I need a little left, which I'm giving it now. Low rates seem to be fine. High rates. I think that's the other one, which is fine. Pump the elevator. It is still awfully cold here in Ohio. Boy, does she snap. <laughs> it's actually a really good flying airplane. And since that, this plane's actually, he called for uh, his weight three pounds, and that was with the old 1970 uh, servos and stuff in it, the servos that were massive. Mine's actually over his three pound weight, but you can definitely tell it the heavier plane. Takes us wind uh, relatively well. Is it everything that you expected out of a Chuck Cunningham? Yeah. Good scheme, too. I like the colors. So it's probably what, six mile an hour winds? Uh, seven to eight. Yeah. Dad says seven to eight. Did it seem like it handled the wind decent? Yeah. For a little 15 size? I might go up and see how it hammers. How was your first uh, maiden on skis? Good. Looks like that left one might be, uh, oh, there it goes. How big of a fuel tank do you have in that? Uh, four ounce. Now, I know that we're going to get this comment a bunch. What engine is in it? Uh, OS 15 LA. What size prop? Uh, it's got a 8.4 on it, APC. And what size, what, what servos are you using? I got, uh, I'd have to check the other on servos, but the plane, the elevator and all that is uh, Diamond uh, DD 2000s. I'm going to go up and do a hammerhead with it. Let me flip it inverted and see. Yeah. All right, I'm going to bring her in for real this time.
And that's a wrap for the Scottish last. That's throw and go number three. Uh, two. Oh, yeah, this is history. Hi, welcome back to another uh, video here from MBMRC. I'm Marty. I'm Matt. And today we're doing the third plane in our throw and go series. And this is the Chuck Cunningham Scottish. Scott 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 what year did this come out? 1970. Uh, you could see in the video prior to this, we, we did something with this uh, a little different. We did the maiden flight on a set of skis with a new engine on a windy day in the cold. So we uh, kind of broke a few rules there, but we had a good time with it, and uh, it was a fun build. Go ahead, Matthew, and throw in your... Uh... Uh, Build-wise... Uh, fuselage is uh, three sixteenth sides. Uh, I got uh, eighth inch vertical grain sheeting right here, and uh, eighth inch cross grain on the bottom. Or I think it might have been three thirty seconds on the bottom. Three sixteenths tail, very sturdy tail. It's all uh, the, the rudder is notched in there. It actually sits up top of the stabilizer. Uh, removable hatch up front. I got a four ounce tank in there because I carved out the second former to accept the bigger fuel tank. And I would recommend using the golden rods on this because if you use to make your own push rods to make that come out, it's so narrow back there. In order to make it work right, you'd, you'd, you'd spend a lot of time figuring up the, the dimensions for that. So golden rod was the right application for, for this plane here. Uh, Got an OS 15 LA up front. I have uh, Diamond servos from Diamond USA. They're uh, 2000, uh, DD 2000s in the fuselage. And I got uh, Futaba 3016s in the, for the ailerons. Everything in there is metal gear. It's kind of overkill for the airplane, but they're all micro servos. Everything fits in there real nice. Uh, Wing is super heavy duty. Yeah, I did the wing, and on the wing it was really simple to do because it's uh, it's sheeted with sixteenth. The ribs are three thirty seconds. It's sheeted with sixteenth, and it's got two spars in it. They're eighth inch spars by I believe half inch. But at any rate, super simple wing to build. I did build it on a wing jig. You could do it without the wing jig without a problem, but uh, I prefer on a symmetrical wing like this to. Uh, use the wing jig when I can. And uh, he initially had his servo mounted uh, in the top of the wing up here. And he used this little uh, headrest. headrest as a place to hide the servo. Of course, we put the dual ailerons in so that we just put this on to make it kind of look exactly like his. And I moved it a little bit forward from what his was. But outside of that very, very simple wing to build, uh, so far in our series, the, the quickie is the easiest of any of these to build. Uh, Flying-wise, I, I think so far all three of them have flown really yeah. well. This thing this flies extremely solid. It's a little overweight from what his was by, what, a couple yeah. ounces? Well, his wing loading was 21.6, and this is actually 21.7. So it's really close to the same wing loading and things that he had. But if you have a windy state or whatever, and you want a small airplane, this thing here, it's, it's solid. It handles the wind decent. We had, what, 5 to 10 gusts? Yeah, it, it was a sustained of 7 to 8 mile an hour, and there were, it was gusting 15 at times. It handles the wind nice, rolls nice, flies inverted. It seemed like it flew inverted well. I didn't do any loops or anything with it, but it, uh, it did fly looked like it Solid. rolled really quick. It didn't. I had it up on high rates. But yeah, hammer's nice. And uh, Yeah, we're looking forward to getting going on the next project, which will be the Frederick's Grasshopper. And we're just throwing something out there. We were actually, the, myself and, the, and my two sons, we were actually talking about perhaps kidding one of these planes. Uh, we would just like some general feedback from you guys as to is this would be something that you would be interested in if we took the best of what we feel is the simplest and best flying 
and put it into a kit, what would your response be to that? We're just curious. We'd like to know. But anyway, anything else, Matthew? To... Not that I know of. All right. Well, give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot. Thanks.